And I got along very well with my father. We were, we never, he was very tolerant of me. Well, I sense that he was probably the strongest influence in your life. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And uh, he picked my wife for me. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> we'll have to hear more about that yeah. later. Yeah. But I always felt I would work with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, Were you an only son? I was the only son. I had two sisters. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, one of my, my older sister studied botany at Wellesley, and she came to work after the war for him, but uh, by And the your time other sister? Was, Sorry. My other sister is younger, and she never was involved in the publishing company. Uh, but uh, I remember my father saying, like, I, I got to be 16, 1946, mm -hmm. and he, he would say many times, wait till the war is over, then we're going to really go with this. That was, uh, he, many times he would say, after the war, after we're really going to yes. do this. And uh, of course, I then went to college. At I, Lehigh. At Lehigh, mm -hmm. 47, 48, and I didn't know too much. I, I was so busy with college that I knew he was uh, expanding. Mm -hmm. What were you studying at Lehigh? Uh, English and journalism. And uh, I had some biology. I, had, I, I took some science courses, but uh, I, I consider I got a really fine education for what I've done lately. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't crippled by my education the way mm -hmm. some people no. are. And you were there two years? No, I, I went there five years. Five years. Uh, but I had a professor, I went there two years full time and then three more years I was working and oh. going to school part time. But the, I had a professor, uh, Francis Trembley, who was a biologist, he was a, one of the early ecologists and he was a small farmer and gardener and he knew what my father was doing but he didn't quite agree. He, he agreed like with you know, he should make compost, but then he was in favor. And he was against pesticides. And potash? I don't, <laughs> but all I remember is that he was, a, he would say to me, well, this organic stuff is okay, you know, but what about this particular chemical point? And I would go home at dinner and say to my father, well, if Dr. Tremblay asked me to ask you he, he, Trembley would ask me, to ask your father this, and, mm -hmm. and he'd sort of arrange a kind of trick question. <laughs> and and my, you'd take it home? I'd take it home, <laughs> and at dinner I'd give this to my father, and he would figure out a trick answer, you know, and send me back with an answer <laughs> that he knew would irritate Trembley. <laughs> so I was like the, the intermediate, the conduit, between, the yeah. conduit mm -hmm. between these discussions, and it was a, it was a very ed educational process. And it, it you were learning a lot, yes. I was learning a lot. Mm -hmm. Uh, then in uh, 1949, my father said to me, enough is enough, you know, you, you had a couple years just being a student, now it's time for you to work. Mm -hmm. I need you in the business. You can still go to school, go to school in the morning, but don't take a full load and then mm -hmm. come to work in the afternoon.